Well, hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. How y'all doing? Coming to you from the man cave. As you can see, got the F4U Corsair by Arrows, the version 2, all put together. Now, as far as version 1, version 2, I don't know the difference. The only thing I can think of is that this one has thrust reverse, and I don't believe version 1 did. Um, doesn't say anything about the instructions, but there's a little yellow pigtail that comes off a of throttle lead that goes to your receiver. That is thrust reverse. All right. And it's very powerful, by the way. All right. As you can see, yes, I got the prop on. Yes, I'm in here. But I want to, I can't give you true CG to show the CG. I got to have the prop on. All right. So the throttle cut is off. Or the throttle cut's on, so the prop will not come on. And as you can see, she balances perfectly. Now, that's on the factory CG. And to show you, like I said, throttle cut is on. So the prop's not going to go anywhere. To show you the CG, to give you a landmark, it's 60 millimeters back from the leading edge, as I said in the unboxing, or the assembly. And to give you a landmark, if you look, these panel lines here, right about where this little triangular starts to bend, put your finger right there at that triangle, and that's where it is. So right here, and right here. So if you put your finger there, on that bend there and there at the field you see she's perfectly now let's let's put the gear up because you're not going to fly around all the time with your gear down and looky there just perfect right there right there all right yes i'm aware of the props on but i had to demonstrate okay book calls for a high rate and a low rate of 18 millimeters of travel on the control surfaces and a 16 millimeter or control surface on the, on, of travel on the control surfaces. I've flown many of these little warbirds like this, and I'll be honest, most of the time I end up going to my default CG or that my default rates of flying of 100% throws over 30% expo. I know it's not imaginative, and a lot of people like to do so much on the ailerons, so much on the elevator. And, you know, different. I like saying 100% throws, 30% expo, all the way around, and that just seems to be my sweet spot. And I have found over the years of flying different things, even the jets. I mean, yeah, I try to do a little less expo on them, but I end up with 100% throws anyways. Um, yeah, maybe a little softer, not having the throws so much, but anyways, that's what I'm doing with this. <laughs> okay, I can ramble on all day on them, but I'm gonna go 100% throws, 30% expo all the way around let me show you what that looks like all right grab my transmitter okay 100 percent throws this is the ailerons and it's really not all that much elevator okay and then rudder okay that's that's that now the gear work real well they are the uh, the 90 degree turning gear okay so you can see them demonstrate so I can demonstrate them for you see they turn in all right the uh, rear wheel does not it just turns with your rudder let me show you the flap settings now um, this is on a Spectrum, and I think in, in the build video, I may have been pointing at that on the wing when I was unboxing it, this was the, this is the flat. These little sections right in here is actually the flat. The full, the real true flap is this whole thing, but this particular model chose only to do uh, that right there. Takeoff that's my takeoff, and that's my landing. So pretty much barn doors. Now to show you what that translates to in the spectrum is uh, on the flaps. Now I'm closer, so I'll try to not talk as loud. But for the spectrum, flaps up were a negative 100%. Um, takeoff flaps were 0% and landing were a positive 100%. And I've got a two-second deployment. Now, I'm not going to do any um, 
flat to uh, elevator mix until I get her in the field and fly her and see if, if when I deploy landing flaps if she balloons or if she uh, starts to dive well then I'll put in uh, an elevator mix accordingly now to show you something on the setup of this because I, I had remember I mentioned she's got thrust reverse right okay now so I've installed as far as my radios go a seven channel the Lemon RX Gen 2 now on a camera these lights, these are just constantly flashing like Christmas trees. But in real, but with off camera, with the camera, it's something about the way the phenomenon is when you're filming something, lights flash. Well, they're not actually flashing in uh, in real life. They're just going uh, to they're steady. Now, you can't see it because the way I've got my transmitter, but the seventh channel is all the way in, and that little yellow pigtail. That was hanging off that elevator i've got that plugged into that seventh channel okay and that's what gives me and then you, you get your seventh channel and you just assign that to a three position switch or two actually two position switch but that's my thrust reverse in this case i have assigned that to my c because braking. i like that to be my braking, braking. Oh. but let me show you how i set that up on the transmitter this is the same way you would do it with um, if you get that kind of a receiver, okay, we'll go to system setup, okay, and when you go to channel assign, when you go to channel assign, okay, your aux 2 is what you're going to use for that um, seventh channel because gear is automatically, you know, kind of in a way is your first auger but that's your gear and then that second aux one that's your flaps well then that seventh channel i've changed that and all you do is just go down there and change that to whatever whatever switch you want that on you know i like it on c okay and then just verify on the next screen that aux two is aux two okay now we'll go back to the model now I get behind the model and I'm going to put Motor on. motors on. Okay. Start to pull forward. Braking. Okay, going backwards. Brakes the brakes work really well, so it's not going to need much for that big old prop to uh, slow this bird down. So, anyways. Prop secured. Prop secured. She's got lights, she's got nav, uh, nav lights, she's got the landing lights, but they stay on all the time. They're not blinking. I per I'm glad that they're not blinking. Okay, I don't like blinking lights, but I may as well say, well, you look easy lights. Yeah, well, I, if, if I could make them not blink, I'd make them not blink. Um, what else? We've covered CG. We've covered what I'm using for rates. Okay. Um, you put the um, pigtail off the throttle into an open channel, uh, open to an open uh, port on your receiver. You'll need a seven channel, or if you want to use uh, thrust reverse, if not, use a uh, six channel, and you just won't be able to have uh, thrust reverse. Um, the model does not come with a, gy a gyro or the vector system like a lot of the Aeros models does. It's just a straight plug and play. All their war, war uh, birds are that way. Uh, and that's fine. But uh, that's that. Also, the CG works out perfectly with a... And that, this is another thing. Look at the front of the uh, battery hatch. Okay, remember we had that tray? Well, I'm not going to use that tray. And actually, you don't really need to use a tray because you can put a little bit bigger of a battery in there. But this acts as a dam and keeps that battery from falling back. But what I'm going to be using is a, um, a 3200 3S. And 
Yeah, I got her out in the driveway and she's got plenty of power, so I don't think she's gonna need to fly on a 4S. But just to show you, I've got that uh, 3S turned sideways, okay? Let me get it up out of there and I can show you. Really in there tight though. So I would see how that's that sliding out. I've got it in there sideways like that. I gotta stand it up and just push down in there, okay? And it ain't gonna go anywhere. Now, if I was to lay it flat, then maybe then I would need the Velcro. But the point I'm trying to make is that the model calls for a 2200 3S. If you put a 2200 3S in there, and you put it in that tray and slide that down in there, you get all the way down as far down there as you can get it, she's still gonna be a little tail heavy on you. If you put a 3300 in there that way, all the way down, not only are you gonna get better flight times, you know, but, you, but she's not gonna be tail, she's gonna be nice and she, her CG is gonna be perfect for you. 60 millimeters back from the leading edge at that little triangle that I was showing you is perfect, so. All right, well, let's, the only thing we got to do now is uh, get her up in the air. So hopefully, Lord willing, the creek don't rise and the wind is good to me. We'll get this out next. So stay tuned. We're going to bring up the maiden coming to you right now. Don't forget, Faith Family and Friends, and a shout out to Hobby Zone for sending this out to me for a review. Thank you, Hobby Zone, and thank you, viewers. God bless y'all. And don't forget, Faith Family and Friends, the Warbirds. Let's go to that maiden now. Bye-bye. Gotta turn this off.